Okay, so meeting is started recording. Uh, I welcome you all for this third day session. In today's session, we are going to talk about the main and important aspects of research. And without those three aspects, research is not possible. And research will not be su successful as such. Once again, I'm asking this, I'm making this clear, whether I'm audible or not. Am I audible? My voice and video is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Are you able, sir? Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So uh, today we are talking about three important aspects of research. Whenever you want to go for research, whenever you want to go for uh, research proposal, these three aspects are, you can you can see these three aspects in every type of research, whether it is, you know, PhD research, whether it is, you know, young field research or research paper also even in research paper also you three you, you can see this kind of uh, aspects which are the part and parcel of every type of research Sorry, uh, am I audible now? Yes, sir. Suddenly, you know, my stopped working. So this is what I disconnected the meeting and again rejoined the meeting. Okay, uh, so I was talking about the three major aspects of every research. Uh, whatever it is, whether it is a research proposal, whether it is a, a PhD research or MPhil research or any sort of minor research or major research. So in every research uh, activity, you can see these three basic aspects and without those three basic aspects, the concept of research is not possible. Actually, uh, in the research and in the research, we have three important things in the And in these three important things, Putla hi research complete ho shakat nahi. So this is my humble request from the bottom of heart. You guys have to give your 100% attention today in uh, for the today's lecture. If you miss a single word from today's lecture, it will not be possible for you guys to write your research proposal. So this is my humble request. research proposal the interview was sale, uh, uh, subject finalization was sale, the topic. RR committee kade approval sati zato tya vales ya teen ghatkan varthi jas bhar deta and he jar teen ghatak tumhala perfectly leta aale ta tumcha research proposal by default kiwa automatically or anyhow they have to accept so ma tanna te accept karavas lagta ta tacha mula ya teen ghatka jar tumhala teen ghatka badda jar tumhala sangli maiti maali he teen ghatak jar tumhala lita aale ta malna hi vatat ki tumcha research jar koni research proposal tumcha reject kare so in this particular session, we are going to talk about three major aspects and those three major aspects are writing a statement of problem. Second one is framing of objectives, which can be also called as framing of research objectives and research hypothesis. See, remember, if you are able to write these three aspects in a very nice manner and correct manner, in a perfect manner, no, no one will reject your proposal. तुमचा प्रपोजल कोणी सुद्धा रिजेक्ट करणार नाही जर तुम्ही या तीन गोष्टी केल्या बऱ्याच वेळा आम्ही आरआर कमिटीचे मेंबर म्हणून सुद्धा काम केलेले आहे तर आम्ही सुरुवातीला ना तुमचं बऱ्यापैकी आम्ही इंट्रोडक्शन बघतो इंट्रोडक्शन तुम्हाला चांगले लिहायचंच आहे प्रश्नच नाही पण जो मेन फोकस असतो तो असतो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम बरोबर लिहिलाय का कशासाठी रिसर्च करायचे दॅट कॅन बी डिफाइंड इन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम ज्याला आपण म्हणतो ना संशोधनाचं नेमकं कारण काय Okay, uh, screen I have not shared so far. Screen I have not shared so far. Whenever I will start sharing my screen, that time you will be able to see my screen. So there is no need to worry about the screen sharing. So see, uh, when, you, when we go there as a team member to select your topic or to approve your topic as a team member of RR, Research and Recognition Committee, RRC we call it. 
so we focus on a statement of problem we focus on objectives how the objectives are framed by the researcher even we also uh, talk on how the hypotheses are uh, designed by the researcher whether those hypotheses are uh, uh, are there in the smart category I, mean, i will tell you what is that smart category which can be applicable for objectives as well as uh, hypotheses today we are discussing about that smart way of uh, designing objectives designing hypotheses so this particular lecture is totally dedicated for framing of hypothesis objectives and research hypotheses so remember my dear friends if you are able to write this you can achieve you can crack the interview um, by writing objectives hypothesis and statement top uh, statement of problem in a right manner or in a right way so this is what this particular lecture is designed and uh, ppt is also made so with your kind permission please allow me to share my ppt so that i can start today's session with your kind permission i'm sharing my ppt so is my screen visible please unmute someone else and answer my question yes sir yes sir okay thank you so in today's session we are talking about the first one so this is our agenda today in our today's agenda we are taking three aspects of research three aspects of research proposal three aspect of uh, any type of research that we conduct that we undertake for the study and those three aspects are statement of problem framing of research and objectives and hypotheses so these are the three things which we are discussing in today's session so uh, i think uh, yesterday only i have given one example when we go to doctor for taking uh, medical treatment doctor uh, will not be able to understand by looking at us no doubt by looking at us he may uh, uh, come to one conclusion and that conclusion and that conclusion is like that the that particular patient is not feeling well and this is what he is here to take the medicine or to consult the doctor but by looking at the patient doctor will not be able to understand what is the uh, difficulty what is a illness what is a sickness that patient is suffering so he will ask some questions before you know going for <clears throat> uh, checking or medical checking he will ask some questions and through that uh, those particular questions he will be able to understand or he will understand the main problem that we people are suffering so if you want to understand the statement of problem or the problem for your study you will you will have to ask some questions to yourself why you are going for the study how you are going to uh, conduct this study when you are going to conduct this study what measures what factors you are considering for the study if you ask some wh questions to yourself you will get some answers jaras tumhi statement of problem lenayta vichar karta mi tumhala ata doctor ko udaharan dile jo paryant tumhi apan hindi madhe manto ami jo bhi katina hai unki jad tak jana chahiye jab hum wo particular jaisa hum bolte hain disease hai hame koi rog hai jab tak hum us rog ki jad tak nahi jayenge tab tak hame wo rog samajh mein nahi aayega so this particular process is called as what statement of problem you guys have to understand the problem and because of that problem you are taking you are undertaking the research asa konta karan hai ki jecha mala tumhala research kara vatto tuma te karan tumhala research karnyasathi bhag padte te karan mhanje statement of problem parach vela apan research ta topic nivadto pan research ta problem ch aplyala maiti nasto apan nusta topic nivadto pan konta problem hai parach vela interview la sudha tumcha proposal cha tumhala kai prashn vicharle janar hai कि बाबा तुम्हें हा टॉपिक का निवड़ा टॉपिक निवड़ने मगस कारण तुम्हारे तो कहीं तरी अड़चने जाता तुम्हारे तो वाटते कि हा गोष्ट ज्यादा सुधर ले गए पाजे कि यू मे थिंक लाइक दैट देर आर सर्टन इश्यूज एंड दोज इश्यूज शुड बी रिजॉल्व एंड दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर द रिसर्च आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ दोज प्रॉब्लम्स कैन बी रिजॉल्व एंड दिस वॉट रिसर्च कैन बी अंडरटेकन बाय द रिसर्च सो दीज आर द थिंग्स विच वी आर राइटिंग इन सेगमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू फ्रेम research objectives there are certain guidelines for framing the objectives even there are certain guidelines for designing the hypothesis for your study so this is 
just an idea about the concept of statement of problem, the concept of framing uh, research objectives, and the concept of designing hypotheses, which we are discussing in today's session. Achha session mein apne ya three goshti aur mainly focus karna raha hoot. Ani apne yalla mantu ya three goshti la soshodana sa atma mantu. Ya three goshti jab tumi proper kela, to tumara research kar taasa na sudda kutla hi aarse niye na na hi. If you are able to do those three the three things prop in a proper manner. You will not face any difficulty in conducting the research. You will have a command over the activities that you will conduct in uh, conduct for the con uh, undertaking of to completing the research. So don't uh, don't uh, you know take it lightly for this particular session. In this session, we are going to get a, a command over how to write research problem, objectives, and hypotheses. So with this, I'm starting with my session. So there is one statement uh, given by Albert Einstein, and and uh, and uh, in that statement he said like this: A well-defined study begins with a clearly defined problem. So, my dear, if the study is sangla, start correct, so if you want sangla, for that you need complete correct, that's it. If you want to start a well-defined begin, so my dear, sangla for that you need start correct, that's it. So, if you want to start a well-defined begin, so my dear, sangla for that you need start correct, that's it. तो विषय चांगल्या पद्धतीने तुम्हाला मांडता आला पाहिजे प्रॉब्लेम चांगल्या पद्धतीने मांडता आला पाहिजे एक उदाहरण सांगू शकतो मी दिस इज माय ऑब्झर्वेशन ऑफ लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स वी ऑब्झर्व दॅट व्हेन रिझल्ट्स ऑफ 12th अँड 10th आर डिक्लेअर्ड वी कॅन सी वन थिंग गर्ल्स परसेंटेज इज मोर मोर दॅन द बॉईज एज्युकेशनच्या लोकांसाठी हा खूप चांगला आहे मला वाटतं इथे काही एज्युकेशनचे लोक सुद्धा आपल्या सोबत आहेत तर एज्युकेशनच्या लोकांसाठी हा खूप चांगला मुद्दा आहे किंवा चांगला आवाज येत नाहीये हॅलो आवाज येतोय माझा सुदर्शन आवाज मॅडम थँक्यू दोज हु आर नॉट गेटिंग वॉइस प्रॉपरली आय एम आय रिक्वेस्ट दॅम टू सीट अ सच अ प्लेस वेअर प्रॉपर नेटवर्क इज देअर बिकॉज ऑफ युअर नेटवर्क यू मे फेस सम प्रॉब्लेम इफ इट इज देअर फ्रॉम माय साइड आय विल मेक इट क्लिअर आय थिंक देर इज नो प्रॉब्लेम फ्रॉम माय एंड इफ इट इज देअर प्लीज टेल मी so if you look at this particular statement i was giving the example of 10th and 12th result apun jar bagitla 12th ani 10th cha result tar bagitla tar mulin cha percentage khup jasta hai but when we the when we see the records of uh, higher education girls are uh, the percentage of taking higher education uh, uh, taking higher education by the girls is little bit less than the boys why it is so when we compare the results the percentage of result is more than the boys and when we compare the records of higher education it is uh, lesser than the boys it means what there is a drop a drop rate the drop rate is very huge so that may be the topic of research that may be the topic of research and when you want to go for a study related to this kind of thing you guys have to mention the problem in a very clear manner so this is what this statement is made a well defined study begins with a clearly defined problem when your study will start well when you will be able to define a problem in a clear manner so tumcha problem tumhala kalala tumcha rog tumhala jar proper kalala the doctor will be able to give a proper medicine and this is what this statement is given by albert einstein albert einstein ne dilela je statement hai te atyant kharach khup marmik hai apan as manu shakto the information of a problem is often more essential than its solution प्रॉब्लम संदर्भातली माहिती ही त्याच्या सोल्युशन पेक्षा सुद्धा खूप महत्वाची आहे विच मे मेअरली अ मॅटर ऑफ मॅथमॅटिकल ऑर एक्सपेरिमेंटल स्किल्स सो इफ यू इफ यू स्टडी दिस स्टेटमेंट गिवन बाय अल्बर्ट आइन्स्टाईन विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम इन युअर स्टडी अँड दिस इज वॉट आय स्टार्ट विथ दिस पर्टिक्युलर स्टेटमेंट अँड दिस इज वॉट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज रिटन हिअर इन द ब्ल्यू कलर अ वेल डिफाइंड स्टडी बिगिन्स विथ अ क्लिअरली डिफाइंड प्रॉब्लेम तर तुम्हाला वाटत असेल की माझा रिसर्च स्टडी खूप चांगल्या पद्धतीने मांडला जावा चांगल्या पद्धतीने मला कम्प्लीट व्हावा मला कुठलाही त्रास होऊ नये बऱ्याच वेळा आपण गाईड करीत जातो गाईडलाही बऱ्याच वेळा प्रॉब्लेम कळत नाही त्याच्यामुळे तुमचा जर प्रॉब्लेम तुम्ही व्यवस्थित क्लिअरली मांडला तर मला नाही वाटतं तुम्हाला तीन वर्षापेक्षा जास्त वर्ष लागतील पी एच डी कम्प्लीट करायला सो अँड इफ यू इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू मेक इट क्लिअर दॅन यू विल टेक यु नो सेवन इयर्स आउट टेन इयर्स टू कम्प्लीट द पी एच डी so this is not a plan of a phd your plan of phd is only 3 years so this is what this particular workshop is arranged or organized moving on to the next here we are talking about the uh, how the research problem is formulated research problem kasa formulate karaycha 
so this is what uh, i said earlier when i was starting my session this is a first step in the research process as i told you these three things are the first steps in research problems so whenever you think about a concept of research you guys have to think about these three aspects one by one defining the problem you guys have to define the problem then developing the research objectives you guys have to develop research objectives without the objectives you know nothing is possible behind every activity there is one objective we are uh, you guys you all are uh, attending this workshop or seminar there is one objective i am taking this workshop or seminar there is one objective objectives are different from my end as well as your end but objectives are there if i'm not wrong to so see in uh, this kind of uh, formulation of a research problem is the first step and under this research uh, formula uh, problem formulation we go for three things and those three this those three things are correlated they are having a uh, relation with each other and this is what i said those are three uh, correlated at tigan sahi ek meka shi sambandh hai tiga hi ek meka varti avlambun nahi tya vela tumhi problem define karta tya vela tumcha manamadhe objectives asle pahije and yavas tumhi objective te vichar karta tya vela tumcha manamadhe hypothesis rough madhe asle pahije and when you go for a final drop a problem objective and hypothesis those should be interlinked then only your research will be successful otherwise not so in this particular thing uh, particular uh, from this particular slide we will be able to understand this one is the first step of research no doubt at all and uh, we have to go for this the most important part of research process this one is the most important part no doubt at all but this part is uh, but also one of the difficult part but this part is little bit difficult because it will take a huge amount of time to decide it will take some sort of settings to make it final ekda baslo apan kiwa eka mhanje eka sitting madhe suvidha asu nahi you have to consult your mentors you have to consult your expert you have to consult with your friends you have to consult with a uh, concern industry suppose you are going for a topic which is related to industry you have to consult to the industry people also to understand the problem what they are facing see according to uh, we people problems are different but actually those people are working there and they know the exact problem so by consulting with them we may understand yes this is the problem according to us problems are different but when we uh, interact with them we get the actual situation and this is what uh, uh, i said like this most important part of research process no doubt this form, uh, problem formulation is most important aspect but that is not that much simple it is a little bit difficult to define uh, not that much but i will teach you how i will make you aware how to formulate the research problem how to uh, develop research objectives and how to design research hypotheses so this is for this one unfortunately prob problem is clearly uh, rarely clear cut uh, this is my own observation this is what i have written like this when i come across with this um, proposal made by the researchers i found one thing people they write problem but they are not able to mention it in mention it in a clear cut manner they write something they write something they make an attempt to write something no doubt they are the you know beginners and they have some issues with uh, writing down the uh, problem statement but that is not clear so what i have found they write but mostly i uh, you know i uh, find some uh, proper way of writing this is problem this is what i have written like this problem is rarely clear cut this is my observation this is what i have written otherwise you don't take it otherwise now what is a statement of problem now we have seen the background of statement of problem i told you so many things about statement of problem but what is this actually so i'm going to tell you a problem statement is a clear concise description of the issue or issues that need or needs to be addressed by the researcher a statement of problem is nothing but what the issues which are come across by the researcher and that particular researcher is going to find out a solution he is going to address those problems suppose if i am doing a research in finance for example and there i uh, you know there i found that most of the financial practices of that particular organizations are not up to the mark this is the problem that i have noticed so i have to address a solution for those practices so you are not there to only highlight the problem remember whenever you write a statement of problem you are not there to highlight the problem you are there to highlight the problem at the same time you are there to give suggestion you have you are there to address 
the solution for those problems. And this way you have to write the problem. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. problem problem solution doctor 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 problem solution to deto. That is the solution. So doctor is going to address the problem by giving a solution in the form of medicine. Am I right or wrong? So this way it, it can be addressed. So this is what uh, a statement of problem is like this. A statement of problem is issue used in research work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by the study. So here a uh, statement of problem is nothing but what? It is an outline. Remember, it is an outline which is provided to solve the problem, to address the problem. So see, we write the problem, we write the statement of problem, then in objectives and hypotheses, we write how to resolve those problems, how to solve those problems, we uh, write how to address those problems. We provide the tools, we provide the solutions by writing objectives and hypotheses. So this is the statement of problem. Uh, is my voice and, uh, you know, video clear? Once again, I'm asking this. Yes, because sir. Okay, the yes, next yes. one is, okay, thank you so much. The statement of problem is briefly addresses the question, what is the problem that the researcher will address? So one more uh, things they have given, statement of problem is all, again there to address in a brief, whatever questions that we people have experienced at the time of writing the statement of problem. Upon general statement of problem, why it is happening? where it is happening, how it is happening. That's what happened. We are going to answer all those WS questions which were there in our mind at the time of writing statement of problem. Statement of problems, there was something to tell us when the questions strike with it. You have to get that. That question is a determined statement of problem. You must learn to my mother. You start to my problem. And that's at the same time to my solutions to the desk in the form of what answers in the form of your statements. And this is what this is called a what statement of problem. Then goals of statement of problems. What are the goals behind statement of problems? Those are, you know, uh, written here. Transform a generalized problem, something that bothers you into a targeted, well-defined problem. Whereas when you have a problem, 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 so, question to me, general problem madun, targeted, well-defined problem madun lai chai. To me, abaraj wala aapna shkar to, ki aajkal ja urban cooperatives banks ahead, they are not performing well. Uh, we hear some news about urban cooperative banks, and uh, most of the urban cooperative banks, they are, you know, because of NPS, they are shutting down their businesses. We are uh, here in news, or we read in newspapers also. So, uh, if you observe some problems, uh, which is a general problem. So when you are there to conduct a research about this kind of issue, which is there in urban cooperative banks. So whatever is your general problem, try to convert that general problem in a targeted, well-defined problem. The last to me target kara, which I to me for us reading kara, and if you have a problem, banu shakta. Karan tumala hapashnu sata hote, asa ka hote. If you take an example of public sector banks and private sector banks, if you look at the NPA percentage of private sector bank, it is almost nil, almost nil. And if you look at the public sector banks NPA, it is very high. Why it is happening? I think you all are also agree with me because private sector banks are not giving loans to the government. And whereas public sector banks are giving loans to governments only, that is, that is what they're in trouble. So this may be the cause, this may be the problem. If you are able to identify this problem, you can define this problem as a targeted, well-defined problem and work it out. That was the question which was bothering you. Tomorrow, the question was out. Hota. Those to me target with the well-defined problem and they convert kela. And they also to study that. It's very simple. Then helps you to clearly identify the purpose of the proposed research study. Okay. See, when you are able to understand the statement of problem, that will be helpful to clearly identify the purpose. If you are able to understand the problem, automatically you will be able to identify the purpose. So, the problem 
तो उद्देश आपोप कल संगा की गरज नहीं कैसे सा कारण मेरा स्टडी कराए सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द पर्पज ऑफ युअर स्टडी देन मेक युअर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम प्रॉपर इज अ बेसिस फॉर द इंट्रोडक्टरी सेक्शन ऑफ युअर फाइनल प्रपोजल एट युअर बिगिनिंग स्टेज एज एट युअर फाउंडेशन स्टेज of uh, your research statement of problem is the basis for uh, further directions so remember this then uh, i have given one sentence which is very interesting for you all and the statement is uh, like this a statement of problem need not be long and elaborate one page is more than enough for a good statement of problem most of the people they are confused they ask me one question when i talk about statement of problem the students or the people those uh, who attend my session those who attend my lectures those who attend my workshop they ask me one question sir uh, for how uh, means statement of problem is uh, there for how many pages or in how many pages we have to write a statement of problem or how many paragraphs should be there how many pages should be there how many lines should be there how many words should be there but my dear you know friends i want to tell you one thing statement of problem may be a one sentence also it may be one paragraph also it may be one page also but whatever you are writing in that line whatever you are writing in one page whatever you are writing in one paragraph that should be perfect apan mantu na tacha ek vakya vasla vasla tumhala kalala pahije ki ha ha problem samor samano khush jala bhai are at the proper way ni to problem statement lile tala patle pahije this what i said no जयंत मराड़कर पूर्ण वेग है नो डाउट चैलेंज नहीं पू शकते सुधा खूब मोटी गोष है कि पेज आला पाजे लंब कि खूब अपन जो खूब मोटा पाजे दोन पेजेस चार पेजेस नहीं इट शुड बी वन पेज इट शुड बी वन पैराग्राफ इट शुड बी वन लाइन ऑल्सो लाइन मे सुधा सग गोषी तुम्हारा संगता आए बच वे अपन नेट शेट की परीक्षा देते ना वे सुधा अपन आता थोड़े से ऑब्जेक्टिव जाए वेन आई वॉज अटेम्प्टिंग नेट शेट इट वॉज टोटली यू नो डिस्क्रिप्टिव सोला सोला मार्क के दा प्रश्न चाड़ी मार्क एक प्रश्न आता सो ओली लिमिट दिल एक पेज दिल मैं लिया सो दे यूज टू दे एक्सपेक्ट दे यूज टू एक्सपेक्ट परफेक्शन इन आंसर सो सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज एक्सपेक्टेड हियर वाइल राइटिंग स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज फॉर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम आई होप यू गैज अंडरस्टूड वॉट एवर आई वॉन्टेड आई टोल्ड यू जस्ट नाउ सो नाउ एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वॉट दे एक्सपेक्ट basically whenever you are there to write a statement of problem no doubt your problem is clear in your mind but as a panel member as a panel member of interview panel i expect something from you guys in your statement of problem so what i expect it should be it should address a gap in knowledge i told you the concept of gap gap means what suppose somebody has done research in the past now you are going to do the research or similar type of research so you guys have to find out what he has not done and what you are going to do the difference between you are going uh, going to do and uh, did in the past is called as gap so ni matlab farak manje gap te ni je agudar karun thevle and tumhi je karnar ahe tela manas gap so that you have to address through your statement of problem it should be significant enough to contribute to existing body of research uh whatever uh, contribution you are going to give through your statement of problem that should be significant uh to the existing body of your research it should lead to further research tumcha jo kai statement of problem asel to enara kala madhe honara research sathi sudha faydeshir asle pahije ki mai ek prakar cha tani lead role play kela gela pahije the problem should render itself to investigation through collection of data so see uh the problem which we write in the statement of problem should render some sort of investigation for collection of data that they expect at the time of going through your research or especially going through your statement of problem it should be of interest to the researcher and so uh, suit his her skills time and resources so 
so whatever statement or problem you are writing that should be according to your interest it should suit to your skills what your skills you have it should suit to your uh, to that particular time and available resources ya tumcha interest la tumcha skill la vele la ani uplabdh asha sansadhana la te match jala pahije उगे अपन का ही लिखू शकत नहीं दिस इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्मार्ट एक कॉन्सेप्ट मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा वे तुम्हारा संग आई विल टॉक अबाउट ऑब्जेक्टिव फ्रेमिंग तुम्हारा एक स्मार्ट नाव की कॉन्सेप्ट है मैं तुम्हारा संगेन प्रमाण पाजे द एप्रोच टूवर्ड्स सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम शुड बी एथिकल एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट एस्पेक्ट वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग द वे एंड द सोल्यूशन यू आर फाइंडिंग टू सॉल्व दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम शुड बी एथिकल डू नॉट थिंक अबाउट वॉट वी कॉल इट इलिगल वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम on ethical things we call it ethical way by using ethical ways you have to solve that particular problem this is expected because we are in noble profession we are in a very good profession where people they trust on us blindly still when we say i am a professor i am a teacher yes the way of thinking of another person will automatically changed this is what we have to think about ethical practices in research then a statement of problem is written in three different parts see here uh, i have given when you are there to write a statement of problem there was me statement of problem leaner two statement of problem basically teen parts madhe apan divide kele part a that is ideal and uh, that is there and it uh, describe describes a desired goal or ideal situation explain how the things should be etcha madhe apan ek ideal situation mandat asto ki kai gosht asha asala pahije kasha asala pahije so that is called as what ideal way of writing statement of problem so here i have given one example you go through this example at home and if you if you do not understand anything else then uh, ask me your doubts then second way of writing a problem statement the second part is the reality whatever is the reality that we write there and uh, it uh, describes a condition that prevents the goal state or value in part a from being achieved or realized at the at this time explains how the current situation falls short of the goal or idea so this is a reality best statement of problem then example is here this goes for the example and the last one the part c the consequences identify the way you propose to improve the current situation and move it closer to the goal or idea basically this way or this particular part is used for writing the statement of problem as i told you you are not there to give the problem only you are there to suggest a solution also and here whatever consequences we face in that particular research area we have to identify them at the same time we are there to propose some solutions we are there to uh, suggest some improvements in the current situation which we have observed which we have experienced in that particular observation and this way we right statement of problem so example is here given here just go through the example at home so this that was a statement of problem and by using all those three ways we try to write statement of problem so uh, at a part of a summary about a statement of problem i will tell you one thing writing a statement of problem is not that much difficult but we people have made it difficult how स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लिखण हे तेवढं अवघड नाही पण आपण लोकांनी ते अवघड बनवलं कसं त्याच्यामुळे दोन त्याच्यामध्ये दोन गोष्टी आहेत एक तर जे कोणाची आपण एक्सपर्टीज घेतो तो माणूस सांगतो की नाही खूप अवघड आहे ते लिहूनच घ्यावं लागतं किंवा तुम्हाला जमणार मला त्यावर विचार करावा लागेल तर माझं एक प्रामाणिक मत आहे तुम्हाला जो प्रॉब्लेम जाणवतोय तो तुम्ही स्वतः अगोदर ड्राफ्ट करा देन यू कन्सल्ट युअर एक्सपर्ट देन कन्सल्ट युअर मेंटॉर then consult your teacher or guru whoever is there and ask him these are the sequences that i have observed experienced and i want to give solutions to those sequences in, in this particular form ya form madhe mi tala solution divu ichhte ani asha prakare mi mala problem statement divu ichhte ki was define karu ichhte when you are putting two things at a time in front of the mentor in front of the expert in front of the guru definitely he or she will understand yes you wanted to say like this tumhala he manach hota करेक्ट त्याच्यामुळं याच स्टेटमेंट तुम्ही टेन्शन घेऊ नका तुम्हाला सुद्धा लिहिता येऊ शकतो आणि तुम्ही लिहिणार यात काही शंकाच नाही जस्ट गो थ्रू द स्टेट कंटेंट विच वी हॅव सीन वेन एव्हर यू आर देअर टू राईट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम नो इशू 
Now we are moving on to the second and important aspect of research or any sort of research study, and that is research objectives. Now we have seen the concept of this uh, statement of problem. Now we are talking about research objectives. So see, what is research objective? Why research objectives are defined? See, this is what I said, I think earlier only, I think five or 10 minutes before I talked about behind every activity, there is a reason, there is one objective. Those who are from uh, education, they may understand because I have also done one degree in education that is Bachelor of Education, BR. So see, uh, in BR they teach, Pratek Goshti Maga Ek Karanastha, Karya Karan Bhav. In the middle of the day, Shiddhant hai, Karya Karan Bhav Shiddhant, I have been doing BR for 17 years, 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 I have been doing BR for Karya Karan Bhav. What is it? कुटला ही कार्य चे मागत कारण अस्त अनेक कारण शुभ कुटले कार्य हो शकते हैं तर इतने सुधर मलासित मनाते हैं कि कुटला ही गोष्टी मागे एक ऑब्जेक्टिव अस्त मैं मगा मंडल ना तुम्हें सर्वोदन हाँ सेमिनार करता है एक ऑब्जेक्टिव है मैं सेमिनार के तो एक ऑब्जेक्टिव है माला ऑब्जेक्टिव वगैरह तो म हेलो हेलो यस हेलो सर आवाज ब्रेक जा रहा था मधे आवाज ब्रेक जा रहा था वो थोड़ा फोन आले मोड़ गड़बड़ जा रही थी ओके सर ओके सो सी आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्स रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्स कहाँ सेट करते हो आपन जैसे मार्क्स कारण में तो माला संगना रहे तर सी एस आई टोल्ड यू व्हेन यू Automatically, you should have a plan to conduct the research. You should have one, you know, roadmap to conduct the research. And when the, your roadmap is ready with you, then you will be able to conduct the entire research. So, objectives and hypothesis is a part and parcel of your roadmap. Roadmap. So, when you write objectives and hypotheses, your way of conducting research is clear. Then you go for questionnaire. Then you collect the data. Then you go for data analysis. Then you go for, you know writing your findings, your suggestions, and then conclusion and all. So it means what? Your entire research is based on objectives and hypothesis and statement of problem. The first step is what? Statement of problem. Second step is research objectives. And third step is hypothesis. So when you want to go for questionnaire, you guys have to consider these three aspects. Your questionnaire should be based on research objectives as well as hypothesis. Clear? Then. This is what uh, there is a, a huge importance for objectives also. Outcomes that you aim to achieve by conducting research. So when you want to get some outcome by conducting your research, there should be uh, some sort of objectives for your research. Many research study contain more than one research objective. This is my observation and this is your observation also. Most of the research studies, they or most of the researchers for their research study, they set more than two objectives, more than four objectives, more than five objectives. But the five as you know, uh, standard number, uh, do not go for more than five. Eka the research paper, medical research study, mande sudha. Apan eka paksha just objectives gitu. Because whatever contain, whatever factors that we need to consider, those are not uh, covered in one objectives. This is what we go for. Uh, more number of objectives and it depends upon the area of the study depend upon the title of your study depend upon the you know scope of scope of your study so this is what the number of objectives more than one creating strong research objectives can help to achieve your targeted goals so see uh, when you create strong objectives definitely those will be uh, used to whatever goals you have set and this is what you should have strong objectives with you, with us. So while while uh, see while writing objectives, the problem statement, the title, and the scope of the study should be there in the mind of you guys. That was to me objective lena raha. That was tumcha do kya madde? Tumse problem statement asle paaje, title asle paaje, then to tumcha research limitations tumcha do kya madde asle paaje, scope tumcha lakshya asle paaje, then to tumite define karu shakta. Bara chora apna objectives karto, anti apna scope majas nista. So remember the limitations, remember the scope, remember the statement of problem. The purpose of research objective is to drive the research study, including data collection, analysis, and conclusion. So basically, as I told you, 
this one is a road map this one is a way to conduct your research so why objectives are set to conduct your further aspects of study or research study it includes data collection analysis and conclusion as i told you earlier then research objectives also help you narrow in on the focus of your research and key variables guiding you through the research process and uh, these are the most important and useful things for focusing on your research especially whatever key variables you are deciding for your research variables what is variable i'm going to tell you after some time so if you want to focus on those aspects objectives should be there because uh, see what happens from the objectives only we set some variables variables means i'm going to tell you what is variables because this word is new for you guys so who are you know uh, going for research first time so variable is a different concept for them so this is the, this is research objectives and for this objectives should be there then steps to define the research objective there are certain steps to define the research hello. objectives hello yes is my voice clear ha sir thoda marathi tun pan sanga nahi objectives wagere oh sangta sangta kay arthan nahi tar research objectives define karat astana tumhala ya teen steps ta vapar karaycha so there are three simple steps that you can follow to define your research objectives ऑब्जेक्टिव्स डिफाइन करताना तुम्हाला या तीन स्टेप्स आहेत किंवा हे तीन प्रकारचे विचार तुमच्या डोक्यामध्ये असले पाहिजे मनामध्ये असले पाहिजे द फर्स्ट वन इज पिन पॉइंट द मेजर फोकस ऑफ युअर रिसर्च तुमच्या रिसर्च जो काही मेजर पार्ट आहे तो तुमच्या मनामध्ये किंवा ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह लिहित असताना तुमच्या मनामध्ये क्लिअर असला पाहिजे मी जसं म्हटलं ना मला तुम्हाला माझ्या जर मनामध्ये फायनान्समध्ये पी एच डी करायची असेल माझ्या जर मनामध्ये एज्युकेशनमध्ये पी एच डी करायची असेल माझ्या जर मनामध्ये कम्प्युटर सायन्समध्ये पी एच डी करायची असेल सो देर शुड बी a fo my focus should be very clear ki i have to focus on these aspects for example i if i'm going to find out a drop rate of uh, girls education so which drop rate the drop rate which is there in school education the drop rate which is there in uh, higher education the drop rate which is there in uh, secondary education that should be very clear if it is not clear then there is no chance there are so clear nasal ki mai madhyamik school girls badal bolto hai ka higher education madle girls madhe bolto hai ka junior college girls madhe bolto hai हे जर क्लिअर नसेल तर मला अडचण येणार आहे माझं रिसर्च असं भरकटल्यासारखं होईल सो दॅट शुड बी व्हेरी मच फोकस्ड देन ब्रेक डाऊन युअर रिसर्च फोकस इन टू रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव तुमचे काही रिसर्च फोकस आहेत तेच तुम्ही ऑब्जेक्टिव बनवू शकता तेच तुम्ही ऑब्जेक्टिव बनवू शकता पण तुमचा फोकस तुम्हाला कळायला पाहिजे कदाचित रिसर्च करत असताना ऍट द टाइम ऑफ रिसर्च युअर फोकस इज फोकस मे बी ऑन डिफरंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर रिसर्च स्टडी सो यू गाईज हॅव टू मेक युअर focuses you guys have to convert your focuses into research objectives and if you do so definitely your objectives will be very much strong and the last one that is write your research objectives in a smart format tumche objectives he smart format madhe asle pahije kay ahe to smart format jar apan baghu ya has to smart format smart format of defining research objectives pehla s stands for specific specific as asle pahije bugi sky lahe chhe mhanun lahe nahi we are here to be very much specific write your objective in a very specific manner i am using this word specific and pressing on word specific because sometimes what happens we write objectives asses lehache manus lehto apan karan tithe number nahi matvaycha how your objective is strong that panel is going to observe panel is going to judge panel is going to you know verify then m stands for measurable it should be measured in terms of what quality in terms of quantity depend upon the uh, title of your study so remember it should be measured in terms of quality and quantity it should be measured tese tumhala mod map karta chala pahije asa tumhi yu na ka jese kaiz karta yet nahi then achievable most of the time in uh, as i told you in enthusiasm we set the objectives which is not achievable tese apan mhanto na hosh madhe apan josh madhe kai tar karun bastu je milu shakat nahi jase apan ek nahi nu udaharan deto apan Uh, basically those who are in love they give promises to their you know fiance or fiance mai aapke liye chaand taare leke aaunga this is not possible those are not in the market to buy and give her or to him so it should be achievable tumse je kai objective hai te achievable asle pahije then it should be relevant it should be relevant to your study tumse objectives he tumcha study sathi relevant as asle pahije irrelevant goshti nahi gaycha tumcha title samjha education she tumhi dusraj kai tar mudda ghetle तुमचं टायटल समजा फायनान्शिय आणि तुम्ही मार्केटिंग त्याचं तो मार्केटिंग बेस एखादा ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह घेतलाय सो दिस इज नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड 
it should be relevant and the last that is uh, t in smart that is time best pratyekala vel asto pratyekacha duration tharlela tya velat te jhalas pahije it should be time best tumhi asa kai tri objective getle jala 5 varsha 7 varsha 10 varsha lagnar hai so those are those things are not accepted those those, those things are not expected here while defining the research objectives i hope you guys have understood how to go for smart way of uh, defining objectives so s yes, for specific m for measurable a for achievable r for relevant t for time best if you remember this smart will be very smart in uh, defining the research objectives i think so am i audible yes sir yes sir okay yes sir yes sir now i'm giving the tips for defining research objectives whenever you are there to define research objectives there are certain tips that tips tumhala follow karaycha what are those tips be concise you should be very much concise while writing research objectives conciseness aslas pahije एक अर्ध्या ओळीमध्ये सुद्धा आपण रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह लिहू शकतो पण बऱ्याच वेळा आपल्यालाच आपण एवढ्या कन्फ्युज मध्ये कन्फ्युज स्टेट मध्ये असतो कन्फ्युजन मध्ये असतो की आपण त्याला दोन ओळी तीन ओळीची एक ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह बनवतो आणि त्यावेळेस पॅनल मधला माणूस हे ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह वाचतो त्यावेळेस त्याला स्वतःला एवढं कन्फ्युजन होते त्याला कळत नाही तुम्हाला नेमकं काय म्हणायचं दिस वॉट इट शुड बी व्हेरी कन्साइज यू हॅव टू फॉलो कन्साइजनेस और यू हॅव टू फॉलो दिस प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ डिफायनिंग रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह हिअर then keep your number of objectives limited mi matlo na maga jast objectives madhe khup changla research asna nahi jast objectives ni nami bara kala bagto ki ja vela namin namin lok proposal ghevun yetat pahila round la ami tanna bolavto to come up with uh, your proposal and when they come with their proposal there are n number of objectives kadhi kadhi tar mi 15 sudha 12 sudha 10 sudha objectives baghitle mag mi tanna bolto evde kisal objective ghetle kami karu ni hechatle main main thev ma tela kalat nahi atle main kutle ani मायनर कुठले मेजर कुठले तर ट्राय टू कीप युअर नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह लिमिटेड ऍज आय टोल्ड यू फायव्ह आर मोर देन इनफ पाच सुद्धा खूप झाले बट दोज फायव्ह ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह शूड कव्हर द एन्टायर स्टडी ते तुमचे पाच ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह तुमचे पूर्ण स्टडी कव्हर करता आलं पाहिजे त्याच्यामध्ये अँड दॅट इज अ स्किल अँड दिस वॉट दिस वर्कशॉप इज मेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट यूज ऍक्शन वर्क वर्ड्स सी रिसर्चची लँग्वेज इज वेगळी द लँग्वेज ऑफ रिसर्च इज डिफरंट we cannot write language in research whatever we are speaking the writing language of research is totally different tumhala kai shabd purposefully vaprayche karans uddesh thevunas tumhala he shabd vaprayche majhe vaprayche kuthe vaprayche proposal madhe vaprayche thesis madhe vaprayche ani he jar shabd tumhi vaparle tar automatically uh, it will create it will be a weightage for your research work jo tumhi nahi vaparle to general sentences bol data and in research we avoid general sentences we use some words which can be called as action words or action verbs sorry action verbs in your research while writing objectives while writing your research gap while writing research methodology while writing uh, finding suggestion and conclusion purposefully we guys have to use some words which can be called as research words and if we go with this kind of action verbs automatically it will create good impact in the mind of panel members and which are those words assess determine calculate compare explain describe undertake apan asa nahi manu shakat the study is taken study is undertaken when you say like that study is undertaken it creates good impact instead of saying you know study is uh, taken study is taken this is general word that we use in our day to day communication but if we go for research language we have to use study is undertaken tar he shabd tumhala purposefully vaprayche marathi madhe sudha vegale shabd hai ते सुद्धा मी तुम्हाला आवर्जून सांगेन बी रिअलिस्टिक मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट पार्ट वाईल डिफायनिंग ऑब्जेक्टिव बी रिअलिस्टिक रिसर्च म्हणजे रिअलिस्टिक राहणं खूप गरजेचं आहे उगीच आपण जगापेक्षा वेगळा विचार करतोय असं करून चालणार नाही आज फॉर फीडबॅक वेन एव्हर यू आर देअर टू डिफाईन युअर रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑलवेज आज फॉर फीडबॅक फ्रॉम युअर फ्रेंड्स अँड कलिग्स फ्रॉम युअर यु नो फेलो कलिग्स फ्रॉम युअर फ्रेंड्स दे विल गिव्ह देअर फीडबॅक and they will suggest something so ask your uh, uh, friends and colleagues to give their feedback about your objectives and the most important part proofread and review your objectives once the objectives are ready now if you are not able to proofread uh, those objectives take the uh, help of your friend if it is in english take the help of your english professor english friend the, the person who is having english as a specialization मराठीत असेल तर मराठी या विषयाच्या तज्ज्ञाचे थोडेसे मार्गदर्शन घ्या कधी कधी आपण ग्रॅमॅटिकल मिस्टेक्स करतो कधी कधी आपण वेलांटीच्या मिस्टेक्स करतो किंवा काही होऊ शकतो सो 
ऑलवेज गो फॉर प्रोफ्रोडिंग एकदा वाचा काय चुकले का बघा इन्स्टेड ऑफ गोइंग डायरेक्टली टेक द टेक वन मोर चान्स टू प्रोफ्रेडिट अँड देन ओनली मेक इट फाइंड सो दीज आर द टिप्स फॉर डिफायनिंग रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव ऍज फार ऍज माय नॉलेज इज कन्सर्न आय हॅव रिटन हिअर देन वॉट इज हायपोथिस रिसर्च हायपोथिस वी आर कमिंग ॲट द or we are here for the last uh, part of today's session that is research hypothesis uh, mostly people are little bit uh, confused about the concept of hypothesis apan tela marathi madhe grahitak manto kiwa grahit grahitakas kiwa grahite manto apan tela tar nemke hypothesis manje ka baras lokanna hypothesis manje kay hech karat nahi in marathi avil telu ekada study suru karnyacha agodar तुम्ही काय अंदाज बांधता तुम्हीच्या मनामध्ये काय अंदाज असतात समजा मी स्टडी सुरू केलाय मला अजून स्टडी कम्प्लीट झालेलं नाही तर मी काय अंदाज बांधतो समजा माझा दोन बँकाच्या फायनान्शियल सिच्युएशन वरती किंवा फायनान्शियल पोझिशन वरती जर स्टडी आहे पब्लिक सेक्टर बँक आणि प्रायव्हेट सेक्टर बँक तर स्टडी सुरू करण्यापूर्वी टायटल फायनल टायटल फायनल करत असताना किंवा हायपोथिसिस लिहित असताना मी काय विचार करतो एक जनरल आयडिया माझ्या डोक्यात असते काय जनरल आयडिया की प्रायव्हेट सेक्टरच्या बँकाचा एन पी ए कमी आहे पब्लिक सेक्टर बँकापेक्षा हे मी काहीही नुसतं जनरल स्टडीवरती स्टेटमेंट केलंय आता ह्याच्या पुढे मी तीन वर्ष त्याचा अभ्यास करणार आहे आणि सांगणार आहे खरंच मी म्हणतो ते बरोबर आहे का नाही सो हायपोथिसिस इज नथिंग बट वॉट अ टेन्टेटिव्ह स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू ऑर मोर व्हेरिएबल्स व्हेरिएबल्स म्हणजे काय दोन गोष्टी किंवा दोन घटक मी काय विचार केलाय पब्लिक सेक्टर बँकेचा एन पी ए हा पहिला व्हेरिएबल दुसरे व्हेरिएबल काय प्रायव्हेट सेक्टरचा बँके बँकेचा एन पी ए सेकंड व्हेरिएबल सो हिअर आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टू डिफरंट व्हेरिएबल्स व्हेरिएबल नंबर वन इज एन पी ए ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर बँक अँड व्हेरिएबल नंबर टू इज एन पी ए ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर बँक सो हिअर बाय कन्सिडरिंग दिस टू व्हेरिएबल्स आय एम मेकिंग वन टेन्टेटिव्ह स्टेटमेंट विच इज नॉट ट्रू और विच इज नॉट फॉल्स ऑल्सो ते चुकीचंही नाही बरोबर नाही बिकॉज क्राईम विल डिसाईड वेदर इट इज वेदर इट इज राईट अर रॉंग त्यावेळेस आपण पूर्ण अनालिसिस करू त्यावेळेस कळेल की मी म्हणतो ते बरोबर होतं की नाही सो वॉट आय एम गोइंग टू से हिअर ऍज अ टेन्टेटिव्ह स्टेटमेंट द एन पी ए ऑफ प्रायव्हेट सेक्टर बँक इज लेसर दॅन द पब्लिक सेक्टर बँक मी असं एक स्टेटमेंट केलं सुरुवातीलाच त्याला मनाचं हायपोथिसिस दिस इज माय टेन्टेटिव्ह स्टेटमेंट अजून मलाही माहिती नाही की पुढे जाऊन काय होणार आहे अँड दॅट स्टेटमेंट इट इज अ स्पेसिफिक टेस्टेबल प्रिडिक्शन अबाउट यू एक्सपेक्ट टू हॅपन इन अ स्टडी दिस इज युअर प्रिडिक्शन तुमचा हा अंदाज आहे जसं आपण क्रिकेट मॅच ज्यावेळेस सुरू होते त्यावेळेस प्रिडिक्शन यायला सुरुवात होतात टॉस झाल्या झाल्या प्रिडिक्शन यायला सुरुवात होतात मग जे एक्सपर्ट असतात ते म्हणतात की नाही हे बॅटिंग स्पीच अँड इफ इंडिया इज गोइंग टू बॅट डेफिनेटली इंडिया विल विन द मॅच अँड इफ इंडिया विल गो फॉर बॉल फर्स्ट दॅन इंडिया विल फेस सम यु नो प्रॉब्लेम ऍज सच दे स्टार्ट गिव्हिंग दिअर प्रिडिक्शन दोज आर द हायपोथिसिस तेव्हाच आपण हायपोथिसिस म्हणतो अँड वेन इट विल बी क्लिअर it will be clear at the end of the match whether that hypothesis was correct or not so this is hypothesis so hypothesis is nothing but what it is a tentative statement it is a prediction it is an assumption that is made on the basis of some some evidences some evidences this is a match prediction hota there was match predictions they expert karta te kas karta from the india and pakistan badli match te kya karta they go for some evidences they check some evidences of the past so see uh if uh, there are 24 matches played between india and pakistan they go for the ratio of winning out of those 24 20 matches are won by the india and four matches are won by the pakistan it means what there is a chance of india winning they may predict like that they may assume like that so this is their assumption this is their hypothesis but we can see the result of this hypothesis at the end of the match if pakistan wins the hypothesis which was made for india was rejected was is not accepted so this way it we go for it right so this is hypothesis and it is nothing but what it is an assumption it is a testable prediction it is a tentative statement which uh, which we guys have understood through this particular thing. then hypothesis is problem formulation how the hypothesis is or problem formulation is uh, formulated they have given here hypothesis is uh, is considered as an intelligent guess there is one more word for hypothesis intelligent guess apan kay manto intelligent guess intelligent guess means what there is a study behind giving this guess or if you want to give this guess guess there is a intelligence this manto na apan barasa evidences apan refer karto 
की बाबा मागच्या वेळेस विराटने किती रन केले होते मग कोणत्या बॉलरवरती कुठले रन केले होते मग हाच कोण कोणते बॉलर आहे सो दिस इज वी डू वन स्टडी बिफोर गिव्हिंग द गेस्ट गेस्ट सॉरी अँड दॅट पर्टिक्युलर गेस्ट इज फॉर अबाउट इंटेलिजियंट गेस्ट इंटेलिजियंट प्रिडिक्शन बिकॉज बिहाइंड दॅट प्रिडिक्शन देर इज वन स्टडी देर इज वन स्टुडिओस अप्रोच ऑल्सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज फॉर अबाउट इंटेलिजियंट गेस्ट hypothesis or hypothesis are defined as the formal statement of a tentative or expected prediction or explanation of the relationship between two or more variables uh, in specified populations already we have discussed so for your reference it is given uh, same things are uh, taken here just go through this then hypothesis is makes the following contribution in research study research study mein the hypothesis is the contribution khup mahatva hai मी म्हटलं ना रिसर्च मध्ये फक्त तीनच पार्ट आवर्जून बघितले जातात एक मोठ पुढचा पार्ट मी जो उद्या लेखीच घेणार आहे तो सुद्धा खूप महत्वाचा आहे तेवढाच महत्वाचा आहे आणि त्याचं काय कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन असेल व्हॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन हायपोथेसिस इज गिव्हिंग इन युअर रिसर्च दॅट वी आर गोइंग टू सी कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन ऑफ हायपोथेसिस इन रिसर्च स्टडी इज इट प्रोव्हाइड्स क्लिअरिटी टू रिसर्च प्रॉब्लेम अँड रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह हायपोथेसिस मुळं तुमच्या रिसर्च स्टडीला क्लिअरिटी येते आणि रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह क्लिअर करता येतात सो इट प्रोव्हाइड्स क्लिअरिटी टू रिसर्च प्रॉब्लेम अँड रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव इट डिस्क्राईब्स एक्सप्लेन्स ऑर क्रेडिट्स द एक्सपेक्टेड रिझल्ट ऑर आउटकम ऑफ द रिसर्च अँड इट इज देअर टू डिस्क्राईब एक्सप्लेन क्रेडिट्स द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम्स डेफिनेटली जस्ट गो अँड सी द हायपोथेसिस जर तुम्हाला एखाद्या रिसर्चचं आउटकम समजून घ्यायचं असेल काय आउटकम असतील तर तुम्ही नुसतं ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह आणि हायपोथेसिस जरी बघितलं तर तुम्हाला कळू शकते की वॉट इज गोइंग टू डू इन फ्युचर त्याच्या थेसिस काय सांगणार आहे दॅट यू कॅन अंडरस्टँड दिस वॉट दिज आर दू टू इम्पॉर्टंट आस्पेक्ट इन एव्हरी रिसर्च देन इट इंडिकेट्स द टाईप ऑफ रिसर्च डिझाईन वेन वी सेट अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव अँड डिझाईन अवर हायपोथेसिस ॲट द सेम टाइम वॉट एव्हर हायपोथेसिस अँड ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह वी हॅव डिसाइडेड ऑर वी हॅव डिझाईन दोज आर यूजफुल टू डिझाईन युअर रिसर्च डिझाईन those are useful to identify or indicate the design of your research it directs the research study process again it will be useful to provide directions for the research study process the entire process is totally depend upon your objectives and research activities oh sorry hypothesis then contribution of hypothesis in research study it defines the population of research study that is to be investigated or examined so once you guys have designed your hypothesis is your tumcha hypothesis tumhi design karta that's where is tumhala kalta ki tumcha jo research area ahe tyacha population kay asnar hai population manje kay lok sankhya nahi in terms of research population means what the entire area and the people to whom you are making contacts tumcha research sandarbhatle je kay lok ahe tyanche tumhi contact karnar ahat tela population manaycha population manje ekun lokanchi sankhya फॉर एक्झाम्पल मी बँकेचं स्टडी करतोय पब्लिक सेक्टर बँक अँड प्रायव्हेट सेक्टर बँक इन महाराष्ट्र तर पब्लिक सेक्टरची बँकेची संख्या आणि महाराष्ट्रातील प्रायव्हेट सेक्टर बँकेची संख्या म्हणजे पॉप्युलेशन समजा पब्लिक सेक्टर दोनशे आहेत आणि प्रायव्हेट सेक्टर दीडशे आहेत तर साडेतीनशे ही माझी पॉप्युलेशन झाली पॉप्युलेशन इज नॉट नंबर ऑफ ऍक्च्युअल दॅट पर्टिक्युलर रिसर्च स्टडी नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गनायझेशन फॉर एक्झाम्पल त्याच्यापैकी आपण सगळेच नाही घेत दोनशे आणि दीडशे नाही घेत आपण पर्सेंटेज नाही घेत समजा फिफ्टी पर्सेंट घेतले आपण शंभर आणि पंच्याहत्तर सो दॅट इज माय सॅम्पल साईज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन दिस टुमारो देन इट फॅसिलिटेट इट फॅसिलिटेट्स डेटा कलेक्शन डेटा अनालिसिस अँड डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन नो डाऊट हायपोथेसिस आर युजफुल फॉर डेटा कलेक्शन डेटा अनालिसिस अँड डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑन इन दॅट डेटा अनालिसिस प्रोसेस ओनली वी शो दॅट whether the hypothesis is accepted or rejected apun tithas dakhte ki baba data collection hum apne karta data analysis hum karta data interpretation karta je kai apan objectives tharle hote te khare tharle ka khote tharle accept jhale ka reject jhale and this is what hypothesis is very much important in every research study don't forget this now as i told you i will talk about the research variable the research variable which kai jale apan ekada study we undertake a study a research study for the purpose of uh, uh, research then uh, we uh, focus on certain parameters we focus on certain factors of that particular study of that particular interested area so certain things are there so research variables are defined as qualities properties characteristics behavior attributes etc of people individuals or groups or 
objects, situations, activities, etc. That changes on vary. Variable are multiple, uh, manipulable and measurable. Then we can manipulate the variable and the variable is also made. Sir, variable means that there is no other thing. If you have a question, we have decided to go for this kind of study. So, we have decided to go for this kind of study. So, attendance of the students and percentage obtained in the examination. We are going to find out the relationship between these two things. Vargatil upasthiti ani enara nikal ka milnare marks. Don't get up and check out attendance of the student and percentage of marks. So these are the two things we are considering. So these are the variables. Then attendance and exam performance. Okay. Then uh, what we call it? Um, uh, Okay, we saw it. So, as I think I need to study to and it becomes variable. So, there are two types of variables, by the way. One is independent variable, and another one is dependent variable. So, what is that dependent and what is that independent? We are going to see. So, in research. There are two types of variables, dependent variables and independent dependent variables. Just look at this. Variables, there are different types of variables. We are going to see when we go for analysis of data and all that it is very much important. Independent variable, dependent variable, then extraneous variable, environmental variable, and uh, demographic variables. So these are the different types. But out of those, we have to remember only two because we are having concern with these two. Type or a type of research variables, independent variables. Independent variable means what? Which is totally independent, which is not depend on others. For example, I'm going to find out the relationship between. Suppose this is my independent variable. For example, what is that? Uh, uh, what do we call it? Admission criteria. For example, admission criteria. So in admission criteria, there are another sub variables. What is that? It is whether it is grantable or non-grantable, then whether it is belong to category or general category. So admission is admission uh, parameter is the dependent variable. Under this independent, sorry, admission criteria is the dependent independent variable. Under this independent variable, there are certain sub variables which can be called as dependent variable. Getting my point. So this is the concept of independent variable. Here, dependent variable, which are totally depend upon independent variables. So this is called as independent variables. I'm giving in short. And as it is that not required, but reference is there. This is what I have taken. Then types of hypotheses. There are different types of hypotheses. We are going to see the examples, types of hypotheses with certain examples. Upon a hypothesis with examples bagnarot. Karan Tumala hypothesis lehit. And in Kadachit, Udacha, Lexer Made, Mitumala, task the Narahe, and the task as Narak Udachalami Tumala, proposals of format the Narak. Tomorrow I'm giving one proposal format template. And in that template, you guys have to write your contents. Tumchamana when a topic tires Halasi, Nasel the topic tire Kara, try to find out one topic and whatever template I am providing tomorrow on our group, in that particular template, you have to write your proposal. Until Saturday, you guys have to submit it. So that I can understand what you guys have understood through this workshop or only paid for 992 hours. This is not expected. So, I will go through the each and everybody's proposal and I will find out where you are exactly. In Marathi, we call it suggestions will be given, and uh, this way we can improve your proposal. So this is what this activity will, be, activity will be conducted soon. Tomorrow I will post the format of or the template of a research proposal. Accordingly, you guys have to work. So here, uh, types of hypotheses, and those are research hypotheses, null hypotheses, and testable hypotheses. If we look at the title, we can understand the meaning also. But again, uh, there are certain subtypes. When it comes to types of research hypotheses, there are different types of research hypotheses, and uh, those are associative hypotheses, casual hypotheses, 
non directional hypothesis is directional hypothesis is complex hypothesis and simple hypothesis is. if you look at the title if you look at the name you can understand everything because name is name reflects everything naam mein sab kuch hai there is no need to explain but uh, then type of null hypothesis is simple hypothesis complex casual associative null hypothesis is. so under this category of null hypothesis is, certain things are given null madhe evde prakar yetat नुसता अपन नाव जारी बगित तरी सु अपने बयापैकी अंदाज ये मराठी टर्मिनोलॉजी है विशेष एक महत्व की गोष्टे जे मराठीत करना है तेजा सा मी मराठीत उद्या फॉर्मैट देना है तैयार तुम्हारे का रिसर्च का कॉन्सेप्ट है सुधा क्लियर होते फॉर्मैट मे काल मैं तुम्हारा एक पंचवीस पॉइंट दाखिल फॉर्मैट मे तुम्हारा रिसर्च प्रपोजल बसवाय है दाखवाच है तुम्हारे मना मे कहीं ना कहीं टॉपिक आएलच तो मराठी आल कि इंग्लिश मधुन आल तो दोगे ही दोनों भाषेत मैं तुम्हारा प्रपोजल सुधा टेम्पलेट सुधा मैं देना है तुम्हारा काम कर टाइप ऑफ टेस्टेबल हाइपोथिस टेस्टेबल विच कैन बी टेस्टेड टेस्टेबल हाइपोथिस टाइप्स है बहु सो टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपोथिस रिसर्च हाइपोथिस मध्य बहु अपन टाइप ऑफ हाइपोथिस फर्स्ट वन वी आर गोइंग टू सी सीम्पल हाइपोथिस विच आर सीम्पल इन नेचर simple hypothesis is predicts that there exist a relationship between the depend independent variable and dependent variable simple hypothesis will talk about the relationship between or predicts the relationship between independent variable and de- uh, dependent variable when you write hypothesis which shows the relationship between which create the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable it is called as simple hypothesis for example uh the uh, the students who are attending more lectures they get good marks in final exams simple what you have said here the students those who are attending all the lectures or 90% lectures in a year they get 90% marks this is a simple statement you have made and it shows the a uh, relationship between dependent variable and independent variable simple things then simple hypothesis example is given here two early positions changing of a fully uh, bed ridden patient will prevent bed stop so this is an example similar sort of examples you can also make go through the example go through the meaning and make your hypothesis because you are writing uh, in template tomorrow types of hypothesis is again second one is complex one this one is a little bit complex how it is complex why it is called as complex ka bhayala complex matla complex hypothesis predicts that there exist relationship between two or more independent and dependent variable ela complex mannyaache karan asa hai ki itte eka paksha jast independent variable asti itte eka paksha jast independent variable asti ani dependent variable asti पैला सीम्पल मध्य अपन का एक इंडिपेन्डंट एक डिपेन्डंट इत नहीं इत दो कदाचित दोन कि दोन पक्ष ज्यादा इंडिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल डिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल सुधा एंड दिस इज नॉट दिस पर्टिक्युलर टाइप ऑफ हाइपोथिस इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्प्लेक्स वन एक्जाम्पल इज गिवन युअर फॉर अ फुल्ली बेड रिटर्न पेशंट टू आरली पोजिशन चेंजिंग टू आरली बैक केयर इत बेयर वी हेव टेकन टू इंडिपेन्डंट वेरिएबल two early position changing and two early back uh, uh, early back care and a high protein diet so three three independent variables they have taken will build up body res- uh, resistance so body resistance is a dependent variable and remaining three are independent variable so this way it a variable manje vegla kai nahi lakshat thewa vegla manje variable manje ghatak कभी कभी तुम्हें एक घटक घेन संबंधी का घटक शोधता कभी कभी तुम्हें दोन तीन घटक घेन पुढ़ जता कभी कभी दोन क्वालिटीज घता तीन क्वालिटीज घता वेरिएबल मे क्वालिटीज प्रॉपर्टीज घटक फैक्टर्स एलिमेंट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वेरिएबल वेरिएबल वेग है देवाने का बनवे का वाटन घेव ना देन टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपोथिस देन डायरेक्शनल हाइपोथिस विच गिवज डायरेक्शन नाव का डायरेक्शनल विच इज देर टू गिव सम डायरेक्शन फॉर युअर रिसर्च so directional hypothesis predicts the direction of the relationship between the independent and dependent variable independent variable matlab yani dependent variable matlab directions it aplyala karte what sort of direction is there that we can understand and this sort example is given here 
high quality of nursing education will lead to high quality of nursing practice skills so there is a direction if it is high quality education definitely it will go for high quality nursing practice skills so there is a direction and this is what there is a direction between independent and dependent variable and this is what it is called as a directional hypothesis then the non directional hypothesis here the direction is not that so what is that non directional hypothesis predicts the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable but does not specific the directional of the relationship so here there is a prediction between two variables that is independent and uh, dependent but it is not specific as such so how it is just go through the example teacher student relationship influence students learn when is the proper direction in just a uh, non directional statement we have mentioned teacher student relationship influence uh, student learning so here we don't don't get proper direction it appears as very prakashi visheshtashi kind of dishamrit nahi this is what it is called as non directional but those are hypothesis the hypothesis to be new shakta असं कुठलाच नेम नाही की डायरेक्शनच लिहिले पाहिजे किंवा नॉन डायरेक्शनल लिहिले पाहिजे इट इज अप टू यू देन कॅज्युअल हायपोथिसिस दोज आर कॅज्युअल सो दिस कॅज्युअल हायपोथिसिस प्रिडिक्स अ कॉज अँड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ऑर इंटरॅक्शन बिटवीन द इंडिपेंडंट वेरिएबल अँड डिपेंडंट वेरिएबल सो दीज हायपोथिसिस ऑर दीज टाइप्स ऑफ हायपोथिसिस आर फ्रेम्ड ऑर डिझाइन टू अंडरस्टँड द कॉज अँड इफेक्ट कॉज अँड इफेक्ट समजून घेण्यासाठी किंवा रिलेशनशिप समजून घेण्यासाठी किंवा इंटरॅक्शन between the independent variable and dependent variable modal something in such way this casual hypothesis is are designed or framed so this is for casual now these are the information regarding casual and there is one example also early uh, post post preparative ambulation will lead to prompt recovery that they have given so this is a little bit casual and there is a cause and uh, effect relationship between these two uh, variables then associative there is an association we can uh, find the association between independent variable and uh, dependent variable so what sort of association is there that we can find out through this kind of hypothesis associative hypothesis predicts an associative relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable so if you want to find out that sort of association then this kind of hypothesis is uh, you know important one uh, so here there are two types of associations positive association and negative association whatever it is you can write here there is no need to have positive association always there may be a negative association also and if it is negative association you can make a statement for negative association also and that may be a your hypothesis no issue at all then null hypothesis we are discussing here what is null hypothesis null hypothesis is also called as statistical hypothesis remember whatever null hypothesis we write in our uh, research proposal those are statistical hypotheses and uh, mostly this null hypothesis is based on statistical data we need to go for some statistical test to prove whether it is accepted or rejected and this is what we need to take the help of statistician we need to take the help of a person who is good in statistic for the purpose of analysis and there only we understand whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected when we make hypothesis with the help of statistical uh, testing it becomes statistical or it becomes null hypothesis uh here is one example of this we go through this example then types of hypothesis is simple null so again we are going to see what is simple null so if you go through the example you will be able to understand otherwise you ask me uh, as we are running over the time and there are so many slides to show so just i'm showing you so this one is a this one is an example of complex null hypothesis and here we can understand they have taken more than one variable to write and to write the hypothesis so what are those independent variables look at the smoking drug abuse alcoholism tobacco use etc have no relationship in the occurrence of malaria 
uh, mumps or chicken pox. So here we are showing some independent variables and dependent variable is uh, this, uh, see, there are n number of, uh, like, you know, look at this. All these are smoking, drug abuse, alcoholism, tobacco, these are dependent variables. And uh, there are certain independent variables also. So this way we can make our null hypothesis, which can be called as complex null hypothesis. Then types of hypothesis is again casual. Here also we try to find out cause and effect relationship between independent and dependent variables. Again, then associative null, we can find out association between dependent and independent by uh, designing associative null hypothesis. Then testable, which can be tested, the relationship can be tested between or uh, between the independent and vari vari variable and dependent variable. So how it can be tested? It can be tested with the help of statistical information. So this is a sort of prediction. And we try to find out that whether that prediction is correct or not. And this is what this kind of testable hypothesis is made. I request you all to go through all these types of uh, hypotheses and their examples. To me, sir, what hypothesis examples very watcha? Ya pramani tum che examples banwa. And udya dena raya templates mudhe his lai se tumala. Monon main sir vasan toh hypothesis mudhe khub prakare. There are n number of types of hypotheses, but you guys have to decide whether which one is applicable to your, you know, thesis, which one is applicable for your study. And if you are taking, uh, for example, testable, then you guys have to design it accordingly. So this is what uh, I have covered every type of hypothesis here. So this is testable. Just go through the example. You can test it. And the last one that is a very important one that is thank you for your patient listening. You all are listening since one and a half hour. So thank you very much for your patient listening. I'm getting back to home screen for your questions. I hope you guys are satisfied with my presentation. Just I'll stop my presentation and we'll, we'll be get ready for your questions. Yes. Uh, you all are requested to ask your questions. I think Sanjay sir is ready with question. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry because I was like uh, from the from the day one I was like that only, and I will not going to change it because it benefits yes. me and the otherwise also. Yes, sir. It is always uh, it is also benefited for me, sir. Doesn't matter. Yes, sir. So thank you very much for very exhaustive session, sir. There are two yes, questions. Sir. Like uh, first of all. When we are making the uh, question, uh, when you are making that uh, problem statement, yes, sir. So for that, I have what I have done is, like I I have conducted one primary research apart from going through the literature. Okay, sir. And that has helped me very well because I have talked to five people and five people have given me a different variations. Okay. And when I check with the literature, it was something else. Okay. So that is one uh, that uh, I need to need to give the suggestion to myself and everyone. And secondly, sir, uh, as far as the proposal is concerned, research proposal, proposal, we don't have to make these presentations, right? No presentation, is, presentation. Pre no, presentation is not there, but you have to make your research proposal and that you have to carry at the time of interview. Yeah. So in that way, in that proposal, the hypothesis will be uh, a part of uh, the proposal. Your proposal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything should be there. Statement of problem Achha. should be there. Objectives should be there. Then methodology mm -hmm. should be there. Hypothesis should be there. <laughs> so you have to carry complete proposal, complete research proposal at the time of interview. And if it okay. is complete, then only they will, you know, think about your selection. Otherwise, you know, uh, he they may say like that, you know, the guy, the candidate is not uh, updated with the research knowledge. What they check? Uh -huh. Remember, everybody has to understand this. At the time of interview, they are not going to see your paid result. They are not going to see your net set exemption and all. They are going uh -huh. to see your research related knowledge. How you mm -hmm. guys are acquainted with research knowledge that they are going to focus. And if yeah. you are, if you are showing that yes, I'm having knowledge of uh, hypothesis, how to frame. I'm having knowledge of how to design the uh, objectives, how to write statement of problem, how to go for methodology and all. If you are showing something like that, definitely they will think about you hundred percent positively. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, okay, welcome, sir. Sir, uh, sir, sir yeah. Sir, uh, Concepts are, are all clear, but problem is how to frame uh, our topic in that uh, particular hypothesis. 
uh, it doesn't get to okay madam thing is that tomorrow i'm giving one exercise for you all tomorrow all, i'm posting uh, at temple हाइपोथेसिस ऑल कंसेप्ट आर क्लियर लेकिन वो जो हमारे टॉपिक के अंदर जो बिठाना है वो समझ में नहीं आता कि अभी सैंपल साइज कैसे लेना है हाइपोथेसिस कैसे मैडम ओके ओके आई अंडरस्टूड योर क्वेश्चन सी मैडम ये प्रपोजल तो आपको ही बनाना है टेम्पलेट मैंने दिया है आई हैव गिवन ऑल द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन जैसे मैं बोलता हूँ ना कि आप जैसे स्विमिंग सीखने के लिए जाते हैं तो हम स्विमिंग सीखने के लिए जाते हैं तो जो स्विमिंग का ट्रेनर होता है वो स्विमिंग पूल पे बैठ के हमें सिर्फ गाइडलाइंस बोलता है रूल्स बोलता है जब भी आप पानी में जाएंगे तो आपको तैरना है हाथ हिलाना है पैर हिलाना है बट एक्चुअली वेन यू यू नो गेट इनटू द स्विमिंग टैंक यू गाइस हैव टू डू मेरा रोल yes. क्या है आपको पता ना कि ऐसा लिखना है वैसे लिखना है बट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर टॉपिक बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एवर विद एवरीबडीज टॉपिक सो वॉट एवर नॉलेज है अकॉर्डिंग टू योर टॉपिक तुम्हारा जो टॉपिक है तो टॉपिक प्रमाण तुम्हारा एप्लिकेशन कराए Uh, I think those who are from education, they may understand this. The education मतलब है इतना. Education मतलब सर दोन प्रकार से प्रश्न आता है. Namely एक माला सांगल आउट की दोन प्रकार से प्रश्न आता है. एक knowledge based प्रश्न. जो सरल सरल आता है. Knowledge based मंजे क्या है? मैं तुम्हारे वर्ग के शिक्षकों लेने जाओ तो उस प्रश्न है ना रहे. मैं तुम्हारे वर्ग के तुम्हारा definition शिक्षकों लिए. मैं तेरे परिश्रम दे आ साल कि define the concept of research. शिक्षण शास्त्र एजुकेशन मध्य नॉलेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड एप्लिकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दोन प्रकार के क्वेश्चन सरल सर क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च नॉलेज बेस्ड मी जर मन तो मजा हा टॉपिक है तो कुछ कैटेगरी मे तो तुम्हें तथा अप्लाय नॉलेज अप्लाय कर लगे मगरवा लगे कि हाँ या कैटेगरी मे मैं तुम्हारा टॉपिक महत ना गोषी संगित उद्या एक एक्सरसाइज घॉपिक तुम्हारा बसवाये तुम्हारा स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लिया तुम्हारा ऑब्जेक्टिव लिया तुम्हारा हाइपोथिस अलग लक्ष्य मैडम हेलो सर व्हाट इज इंडक्टिव एंड डिडक्टिव पर्टिकुलर टू जनरल जनरल टू पर्टिकुलर इन व्हाट सेंस मैडम व्हाट इज दैट टाइप इंडक्टिव रिसर्च व्हाट इज दैट टाइप इंडक्टिव एंड डिडक्टिव मींस पर्टिकुलर टू जनरल और जनरल टू पर्टिकुलर आई हैव रीड दैट एनीवेयर आई विल टॉक ऑन दिस एक थोड़ा थोड़ा से ये शांतर भाईला नको मी तुम्हाला याच्यावर भी बोलतो वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन मैडम मैं हा प्रश्न अपेक्षित होता थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन जनरली इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर अल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस रिमेम्बर अल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस एक दोन तीन लिखता जनरली होते कि एक पॉजिटिव एक निगेटिव अपन ज्यादा मन तो एच वन एच नॉट मैं ते तुम्हारा प्रपोजल मध्य संगे ज्यादा बनो तो ज्यास तुम्हें अल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथिस मैक्सिम तीन हाइपोथिस खूब जाए मैक्सिम तीन हाइपोथिस खूब जाए कारण जेवड़े तुम्हें जास्त हाइपोथिस घयाल If you are increasing the number of hypotheses, then you are increasing your burden. You are increasing your tension of analysis. Because you have to prove every hypothesis. And when you prove hypothesis, you have to prove that 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 do not go my suggestion is this sorry this is my personal suggestion do not go more than three hypotheses and if you are going for h1 and h0 then do not go more than two hypotheses i have seen some research studies renowned and uh, you know very good research studies where i have you know i found only one research hypothesis but i studies me asha bagitla ki to ek sudha hypothesis varti sudha research study jhalay pan jar tumhi alternative sathi janar asal 
तर तीन तीन साठी जा जर तुम्ही एच वन एच नॉट साठी जाणार असाल तर दोन साठी जा आणि जर तुमचा तेवढा हायपोथिस स्ट्रॉंग असेल तर एक सुद्धा खूप झाला ते तुम्हाला ठरवायचंय Uh, okay but sir in this case uh, like uh, even in during the proposal also we have to explain all the hypothesis or is no it, need to ex- it is during the final research see there is no need to explain the hypothesis just you write your statement of hypothesis in research proposal whenever you are there for final viva whenever you are there for final viva at that time they may ask some questions on hypothesis how these hypothesis are tested and what are the results whether those are accepted or not they may ask one question in uh, interview of research proposal research proposal interview mode ek te prashna vicharu shaktat asa ek thoda sa tricky questions asto an barese mulo yala bali padtat barese je research scholar asat tyala bali padtat prashna kasa asto baga they ask uh, one question to you uh, hypothesis should be always accepted or not hypothesis e nemi acceptas jala pahije asa kay ahe ka असं तुम्हाला ते प्रश्न विचारतात आणि आपण आपल्याला असं वाटत असतं की आपण हायपोथिस मांडला आहे म्हणजे तो ऍक्सेप्टन्स झाला पाहिजे रिजेक्ट झाला तर माझा थिसिस म्हणजे माझा रिसर्च चुकला का काय आपल्याला अशी भीती वाटते पण असं नसतं हायपोथिस प्रत्येक वेळी ऍक्सेप्टन्स झाला पाहिजे असं नाही तो रिजेक्ट सुद्धा होऊ शकतो आणि रिजेक्ट झाला म्हणजे रिसर्च चुकला असं नाही रिजेक्ट होणं म्हणजे सुद्धा रिसर्च पार्ट आहे जसं मी आपण मला तुम्हाला एक उदाहरण दिलं मॅच सुरू होण्यापूर्वी मी एखादं प्रिडिक्शन दिलं हायपोथिस मांडला की आज मॅच भारत जिंकणार आणि मॅच हरला पण मी प्रिडिक्शन दिलं होतं ना ते प्रूव्ह करण्यासाठी तीन तास लागले प्लेयर्सला खेळावं लागलं बावीस प्लेयर्सला खेळावं लागलं रिसर्च झालाय काम झालंय पण ऍक्सेप्टन्स झाला पाहिजे हा हट्ट चुकीच आहे तुम्हाला जर असा प्रश्न विचारला तुम्ही जर असं उत्तर दिलं की नाही सर ऍक्सेप्ट होणं गरजेचं नाही फक्त काम झालं पाहिजे ते प्रूव्ह झालं पाहिजे वेदर इट इज ऍक्सेप्टेड ऑर नॉट डझन मॅटर इफ इट इज रिजेक्टेड नो इश्यू अटॉल नो वरी अटॉल हे सर उत्तर तुम्ही सांगू शकता Uh, sir may i know during yes, yes, the ma'am. interview for the proposal what yeah. are the keywords which they are going to observe now just now yes. you said that it is a hypothesis is very important so in right. such a manner which part they are going to look yes, so that uh, while presenting or while giving a information we can have that much type of a preparation correct ma'am so see uh, uh, actually uh, today i am very happy because i am getting very good questions from all of you so thanks uh, thank Uh, to all the participants so Sir, see madam uh, hmm, yes with madam. your knowledge we are getting lot many queries yes, which madam. gives us to think on that point of view that is very thank important you. sir thank you very much madam uh, so see at the time of interview they focus on certain aspects only first of all they see your title they see your title if it is your title is you know impressive and if it is Uh, create some sort of impact in the mind of good impact in the mind of uh, panel then they will you know definitely ask some more questions agar aapka title perfect hai title unko strike kar raha hai so title agar unko koi pe to kick kar raha hai so they will ask some questions remember if your title is not impressive if title is not going to kick them they will not ask you okay okay look okay go they will say like that if your title is impressive then they will go for the objectives then go they will go for the statement of problem so see in that case mostly forget about the impression of the title in general uh, sense you guys have to focus on title uh, statement of uh, problem objectives hypothesis and research methodology especially sampling agar ye char cheeze bhi aap karenge hypothesis statement of problem objectives and sampling sampling is very important most of the people they do not have the knowledge of sampling and they fail in sampling or sample size and there they get some you know drawbacks they get some you know minus points of your proposal so you guys uh, have sir, to focus one, on these aspects yes madam uh, so one more query i had uh, yeah. see we know the particular things but mm-hmm. as a teacher or as in education we have maybe with living with the students we have to be very particular about the grammar or a language so yes. the same problem myself i have written means when i was writing a title in a okay. three different format so okay. i am little bit thinking that which it will be suitable for this my concept is clear okay. suppose if i am taking any topic that is very much clear i am going to do a research on this particular topic only but okay. while framing the title i goes on changing myself yes okay. i want effectiveness i want experimental study i want this so this make me something 
different in that way. Uh, you leave this on me, madam. I will make it correct. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome, madam. Yes, Jaydeep sir, ready. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> sir, I, uh, I think uh, extended question to uh, ma'am what uh, uh, she has asked. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, I, I read some thesis where uh, I think regarding the forecasting uh, project. So where they are yeah. mentioning that to use the uh, Arimax uh, method to do this forecasting or uh, using that uh, uh, methodology to uh, come to a conclusion but if you are not aware, let's say you are aware of a regression analysis but you are not aware of that arimax then uh, and then how it will be seen that if you if you are putting that into a title or uh, maybe into the project proposal so they will start asking a question about that because you you need some time to uh, learn on that uh, techniques and then uh, adopt and maybe implement that uh, okay very good question sir uh, once again, I say this is a very good question and uh, this is my observation. This is my personal experience, by the way. The people, those who are doing research, they are not good in statistic. Mostly, we all are not good in statistics, by the way. So they do not expect everybody should be very good or very much perfect in statistics. So for such kind of statistical test and for statistical information or for statistical analysis, uh, we can mm -hmm. take the help of statistician and we can do the work complete. So they do not expect you should be perfect in statistical information or statistical techniques. Okay, but they will not. Uh, uh, I mean, the fear is that they, they will not ask any question no, no. in. Uh, they will not ask. They okay. will not ask any question on statistical, uh, you know, techniques and all. They also know that, and most of the people, those who are sitting in the panel, they are also not good in statistics, statistical <laughs> techniques, sir. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, sir, one uh, one question is hitting to my mind. Yes, sir. Like if you are tossing, if you are tossing the statement of the problem, yeah. uh, then you will get a lot of hypothesis, right? Correct. Okay. So this is what I said. No, statement of problem is a base for everything. Okay. It is a base. This, this is what I have made one statement in the my PPT. Statement mm -hmm. of problem is a base for uh, research objectives and uh, designing research hypotheses. Mm -hmm. If you thoroughly understood the concept of statement of problem, then you will be able mm -hmm. to do the rest of the things. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Sir? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Ha, the like uh, like a movie title. The project title is like that only. For example, uh, if uh, name is movie's name is good, then people will watch the movie, and project title will also like. It will attract if it is attractive, then uh, uh, the first uh, uh, respective uh, first are uh, suggest for doing the project. No, sir, no, we are not here to glow the statement, glow the title of the research. We are here to make the title of research according to the research related works. See, as I told you, in research, there are certain words, there are certain words that we purposefully use. So in title also, you guys have to use certain words. Title Lita Sana Sudha Tumi Ashe Kai Rishra Sandrabatle Shabda Vapra. Just like you can use the word Tikatmak Abbas, Samikshatmak Abbas, Kimwaik Abbas. In English, we say like that empirical study, analytical study, then uh, what we call it, uh, experimental study. Empirical study means what? Based on the experiences that we get. So if you are using these kind of words in sentence, it will create good impact. So we are not going to, you know, uh, use such kind of, uh, what we call it, fancy words in the statement or in, uh, in the title. What they expect? We should use some research related work. For example, empirical, analytical, then <coughs> impact, then uh, uh, n number of words are there that I will uh, tell you when it comes to uh, yes, make it final. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I have a problem. I since I I was late in class. Can you share slide by topics? Since uh, so I can study what topics are covered. Sir, my suggestion is that definitely I'm giving you the titles. But why don't you search your own titles of your interested areas? If I give some titles, that is no, my no, interested sorry. area then. No, no sorry. What yes, I sir. said today today's uh, today's PPT. Uh, so uh, since I'll, I late. I'll, 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 yes, sir. I will share. I will share. 
today i'm sharing all those three ppts of uh, last three days today yesterday and day before yesterday ppt i'm sharing very soon i'm sharing tonight only i'll share okay uh gauri madam was asking something gauri ho oh, ho oh. sir ek minute yes madam yes madam bola ek prashna ahe bola apan shekshanik sanshodhan madhe hmm hmm shekshanik sanshodhana madhe apan effective kutli rail parikalpana hypothesis प्रश्न परिकल्पना प्रश्न कल परिकल्पना जास्त इफेक्टिव राहील का दिशादर्शक 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 मॅडम दिशादर्शक ओके थँक्यू सर ओके मॅडम विचारत चालला तुमचं थोडस वेगळा म्हणजे माझं कधी कधी विसरून जातो मी मराठीत बोलायचं त्याबद्दल आम्हाला कसं प्रॉब्लेम होतोय नाही काय अडचण नाही पण आज कालपासून मी बऱ्यापैकी बोलण्यास सुरुवात केली हो हो आणि उद्या जो मी फॉर्मॅट देणार आहे तो मराठीतून पण येणार आहे इंग्रजीमधून पण येणार आहे हो 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 चालेल थँक्यू सर ओके वेलकम मॅडम येस निमन सर इज आस्किंग सम क्वेश्चन येस निमन सर रिसर्च प्रॉब्लेम आणि टायटल सेम असू शकतं का नाही रिसर्च प्रॉब्लेम वरती तुमचं बेस्ट टायटल असत किंवा तुमच्या सॉरी सॉरी तुमच्या टायटल वरती प्रॉब्लेम बेस्ट असतो लक्षात ठेवा ओके आता मी माझा एक प्रॉब्लेम फॉर्म केलेला आहे मग बोलू शकतो का दोन लाईन असेल फक्त सर बोला ना सर काहीच अडचण नाही हा तर क्रायटेरिया क्रायटेरिया कन्सिडर्ड बाय द नॅशनलाइज बँक फॉर अप्रोइंग सेक्युअर अँड सिक्युअर इंडस्ट्रीयल लोन टू द युनिट सिच्युएटेड ऍट पुणे इंडस्ट्रीयल एरिया हा माझा रिसर्च क्वेश्चन आहे म्हणजे रिसर्च टायटल आहे रिसर्च क्वेश्चन आहे सर क्रायटेरिया ओके क्वेश्चन शुड बी आस्क इन क्वेश्चन फॉर्मॅट देन नो देन ओनली यू कॅन अंडरस्टँड वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू से आय थॉट दिस इज युअर टायटल नाही सर मी क्वेश्चन आहे हा ऍक्च्युली मग त्यात रिफॉर्म करू शकतो आपण म्हणजे आपल्याला क्वेश्चन कन्स्ट्रक्ट करावं लागेल सर काय अडचण नाही मी देईन तुम्हाला करून ओके ओके थँक्यू सर वेलकम सर Uh, any more question or otherwise i'll go to the chat box and see how many questions are there in chat box so uh, uh, can you tell me the servant's question hello yes sir hello can me tell Haan, me sir. can basura sir yes basura sir i'll get back to to sagar ah uh, can me tell, tell me the what are the topic today we have uh, yes, sir, sir can you tell me the topics which are covered today today we have covered since i come late in the class okay okay sir just listen today we have covered okay sir no issue no issue today we have covered uh, state uh, writing of statement of problem uh, then uh, research objectives framing of research objectives and uh, designing research hypothesis so these are three main aspects which we have covered तर आपण तीन गोष्टी आज शिकलो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम कसं लिहायचा ऑब्जेक्टिव कसे लिहायचे आणि हायपोथिसिस कसे लिहायचे ओके सर ओके नाव सागर सर वॉन्टेड टू से समथिंग सागर सर इज युअर ओके सर क्वेश्चन ओके सागर आय थिंक सागर सर इज नॉट येस येस या सर सर यू से टुमारो युअर वन कंटेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन यू से येस्टरडे ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह दिस नंबरिंग अँड दिस क्वेश्चन येस क्वेश्चन ओके 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 सर जे पंचवीस प्रकारमध्ये तुम्ही बसवायचं जे सांगितलेलं आहे की इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ हायपोथेसिस त्या पद्धतीनं उद्याचं जे कंटेंट तुम्ही देणार आहे तर त्यामध्ये हे सर्व प्रकार बसावं लागतील का हो 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 मी उद्या तुम्हाला एक टेम्पलेट देणार आहे त्या टेम्पलेट म्हणजे तुम्हाला तुमचा विषय सगळ्या गोष्टी मी ज्या काल तुम्हाला पंचवीस दाखवलेल्या आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला ते सगळं करायचं आहे मी का करायचं तेही सांगतो जेणेकरून शनिवार पर्यंत कळेल मला की तुम्हाला कितपत गोष्टी समजलेल्या आहेत आणि तुम्ही कितपत रिसर्च प्रपोजल लिहिण्यासाठी तयार आहात त्याच्यासाठी ही एक ऍक्टिव्हिटी आहे खरं तर ही ऍक्टिव्हिटीज तुमचं प्रपोजल झालं की मला मेल करायचं आहे आय विल गिव्ह आय विल शेअर माय मेल आय डी 
so that I can go through your research proposal and I can find out something uh, whether you are really able to make your proposal or not. And accordingly, I will give you some suggestion in last session. So this is what it is uh, yes. going to take place. Yes, I will meet the coroner and Sagrani Jet Lase. Malajik, I play 33, 34 participants at the Sagran Kuruma research proposal. How I and I'm going to, uh, you know, share my time, I'm going to spare my time to go through your research proposal. Then, to me, Sagani there, upon it, Sangli activity will and to my like practice will before attending the interview panel. Uh, with this, sir, uh, raised his hand and sir wanted to say something, sir, sir, yes, sir, please. Example then a problem statement when they simple uh, uh, mm -hmm. actually a research problem. उदाहरण दिल होते कि अपन ट्वेल्थ ट्वेल्थ आणि टेन्थचा रिझल्ट बघतो त्यावेळेस आपल्याला मुलींचं पर्सेंटेज नेहमीच जास्त दिसतं आपण त्यावेळेस बातम्या सुद्धा बघतो यंदा सुद्धा मुलींनी बाजी मारली आणि मुलींचं पर्सेंटेज आणि मुलांच्या पर्सेंटेजमध्ये खूप फरक पडतो जसं जे आम्ही मेरिट लिस्ट ज्यावेळेस बनवतो कॉलेजमध्ये त्यावेळेस मुलांच्या पर्सेंटेजमध्ये आणि मुलींच्या पर्सेंटेजमध्ये मेरिट लिस्टमध्ये साधारणपणे पंधरा सोळा टक्क्याचा फरक असतो सो दिस इज द रियालिटी बट व्हॉट इज द फॅक्ट इन हायर एज्युकेशन त्यावेळेस या दहावी बारावी करून मुली हायर एज्युकेशनमध्ये येतात त्यावेळेस जसं जसं आपण डिग्रीला जातो हायर्स म्हणजे मास्टर्सला जातो पी एच डीला जातो किंवा अपार्ट फ्रॉम मास्टर्स नंतर आपण म्हणतो ना फॉरेन एज्युकेशनमध्ये जातो त्यावेळेस ते पर्सेंटेज तेवढं नाही जाणार उलट तिथं ड्रॉप आउट दिसतो सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लेम प्रॉब्लेम इज वॉट मोस्ट ऑफ द गर्ल्स दे आर सेक्युरिंग व्हेरी गुड मार्क्स इन टेन्थ अँड ट्वेल्थ एक्झामिनेशन बट दे डो नॉट गो फॉर हायर एज्युकेशन दिस इज द प्रॉब्लेम हायपोथिस इज इज वॉट on the basis of this problem we can make one hypothesis hypothesis is like this what is the hypothesis mostly girls they get marry during their higher education and this is what they do not pursue their masters this is the hypothesis or the dropout rate of girls uh, girls higher education is very uh, or is more than the boys ha pun tumcha hypothesis ho shakto statement अगोदर प्रॉब्लेम तुम्हाला कळालाय की मुली शिक्षणच घेत नाही किंवा मुलींचं प्रमाण आहे ते कमी आणि त्यानंतर तुम्ही स्टेटमेंट बनवलंय बिकॉज इट इज हॅपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द ड्रॉप आउट राईट इट इज हॅपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द गर्ल्स मॅरेज इट इज हॅपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द यु नो पेरेंट्स काय म्हणतो आपण त्याला पेरेंट्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू टीच दॅम सो एन नंबर ऑफ रिझन वी कॅन मेक वन मोर हायपोथिस ऑल्सो पेरेंट्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू सेंड दॅम फॉर हायर एज्युकेशन दिस इज वन इज हायपोथिस वी आर गोईंग टू प्रूव इट वेदर इट इज ऍक्सेप्टेड ऑर रिजेक्टेड so this way we can go for you know statement of problem this way you can go for uh, hypothesis we can go for objective tar ase barese udaharna karta yetil when it comes to come from your side then i will also tell you karan tumcha dokyat khup vegole vishay ahet majya paksha kala tumcha pratyeka cha domain vegla hai everybody's domain is different and accordingly we can have one more session hejavar te apan anki charcha karu ani ulat ja ves tumche topic shetil tya ves mi tumhala sangen ki tumcha statement of problem ha asala pahije hota कारण तुमच्या डोक्यातला ज्यावेळेस विषय माझ्या समोर येईल त्यावेळेस ऍटोमॅटिकली यु नो आय विल हॅव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लेम हायपोथिस इज नॉट विथ मी सो असं म्हणू शकतो का की अंडरस्टँडिंग मध्ये की जे काही आपण वाचनात येतो आणि जे आपल्याला एखादा गोष्ट आपल्याला आवडते ती फॅक्ट असते ती एक स्टेटमेंट असते त्याच्यातून आपण रिसर्च क्वेश्चन काढतो करेक्ट बघा दहावीलाज होते पण अकरावी त्या मुलं का आले नाही का आलं नाही का आपल्याला आपल्याला स्वतःला गेलेला विचारलेला प्रश्न आहे आपल्याला जाणवलं की हा तो आपला प्रॉब्लेम स्टेटमेंट आणि त्याच्यावरती आपल्याला प्रिडिक्शन करायचं का नसतील बाबा आल्या तर लग्न झालेले असतील किंवा पालकांची उदासीनता असेल विशेषतः ग्रामीण भागामध्ये हा खूप प्रकार होतो पालकच उदासीन असतात बरोबर पण म्हणजे ते जे आपण जे काही जजमेंट घेतो ते जजमेंट म्हणजे आपला जो निष्कर्ष कदाचित प्रिडिक्शन प्रिडिक्शन असतो करायचा असतो तो आपला हायपोथिस बनतो 
काम करना आहोत्म थैंक यू सर यू ऑलवेज आस्क सम गुड क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑलवेज यू नो हेल्प मी आउट देन आई विल टेक चैट बॉक्स क्वेश्चन विजय नेमन सर आस्क वन टाइटल एंड व्हिच इज यू नो रिजॉल्व नाउ प्लीज सेंड रिसर्च वोकैबुलरी मैडम इफ यू गो थ्रू वन रिसर्च मेथोडोलॉजी बुक यू मे अंडरस्टैंड देयर इज नो रिसर्च वोकैबुलरी एज सच बट देयर आर सर्टेन वर्ड्स व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड इन द रिसर्च um by practice or by going through research methodology book you may get all those words uh okay dipti madam is asked one question you see there okay uh the question is is the research results has to be applicable in real life too yes madam this is what research is taken place uh see basically i told you at the beginning of my workshop there is a there should be a use of your research for the society and this is what research is expected from the researchers research karna matlab uddesh to asto ki tumcha research ha society sathi margadarshak tharla pahije research fakt tumcha promotion sathi phd increment sathi kuma cash sathi kuma count open arthik benefit sathi nasto research ha khara society sathi asto jar tumhi ekada research karat asal tar tyacha samaja sathi fayda hava hi sapeksha sagrenches je kai bodies ahet educational bodies ahet university asel ugc asel then he has expect feel like you are doing research for the societal benefit instead of your personal benefit no though though there are some personal benefits also but what is the standard expectation standard expectation is research should be applicable for the society what your research you are doing you mean je kai research karnar ahat ha jo apan research karto so do they really uh, really get benefit to the society जसं की आता सपोज आपण जसं की शिक्षण संस्थेशी रिलेटेड असतं की प्रायव्हेटायझेशन आहे आणि पब्लिक सेक्टर स्कूल आहेत आणि आपण जर का असं ठरवलं की बाई याच्यावरती रिसर्च करायचा आहे तर मग इन दॅट केस आपण जो रिसर्च करू त्याच्यानंतर जो वायवा होईल आणि त्याच्यानंतर जो ऍक्च्युअल आउटपुट येईल तर डू दे रिअली अप्लाय और इट्स वी हू नीड टू अप्लाय इन टू द सोसायटी खरंय मॅडम खरं तर अपेक्षित असं असतं की ज्या वेळेस तुम्ही रिसर्च करता त्यावेळेस त्या संस्थांशी तुम्ही संस्थांच्या तुम्ही कॉन्टॅक्ट मध्ये येत असता त्यांची तुम्ही परमिशन घेऊन किंवा त्यांच्या सहकार्यानेच खरं रिसर्च करत असता त्यांनाही माहिती असते की तुम्ही रिसर्च करताय त्यावेळेस तुमचा रिसर्च कम्प्लीट होतो त्यावेळेस त्या रिसर्च मध्ये तुम्ही काही फायडिंग्स काढलेले असतात निरीक्षण नोंदवलेले असतात तुम्ही सूचना दिलेल्या असतात सजेशन दिलेले असतात कन्क्लुजन दिले असतं आणि त्याची एक कॉपी तुम्ही त्या संस्थेला संबंधित संस्थांना किंवा संस्थेला देणं अपेक्षित असतं फॉर एक्झाम्पल जर तुमचा रिसर्च प्रायव्हेट स्कूल आणि पब्लिक स्कूल वरती असेल तर तुम्ही त्यांना तो थेसिस द्यायचा असतो आणि त्याच्यात तुम्ही काही काही सूचना दिलेल्या आहेत फायडिंग्स नोंदवलेल्या आहेत त्याचा त्यांनी अवश्य विचार करायचा असतो असं अपेक्षित असतं बऱ्याच वेळा असं होईल असं नाही पण हे असं अपेक्षित आहे की तुमच्या रिसर्चचा फायदा हा समाजाच्या उद्धारासाठी समाजाच्या प्रबोधनासाठी व्हावा हा त्या मागचा उद्देश असतोच नो डाऊट ओके ओके अँड अँड दे डू अलाउ अस टू गो अँड रिसर्च देअर राईट ऑर वी नीड टू टेक अ प्रॉपर परमिशन फ्रॉम देम टेकिंग अ प्रॉपर परमिशन इज ऑल्सो ऑलवेज ऍक्सेप्टेड मॅडम ऑलवेज ऍप्रिसिएटेड तुम्ही त्यांची प्रॉपर परमिशन घ्या आणि मगच करा कदाचित असे होते काही लोक म्हणतात तुम्ही आमची परमिशन घेतली नाही आम्ही तुम्हाला डेटा देणार नाही तर एक काम करायचं असतं तो खूप पुढचा भाग झाला खूप पुढचा भाग झाला पण मी सांगून टाकतो तुम्हाला ज्यावेळेस तुमचा रिसर्च टॉपिक अप्रूव्ह होतो त्यावेळेस तुम्ही एक स्टडी करत असतो आणि त्या स्टडीला म्हणतात पायलट स्टडी तुम्ही ज्या काही संस्था किंवा ज्या काही इंडस्ट्रीज तुम्ही अभ्यासासाठी घेणार आहात त्या इंडस्ट्रीला जाऊन तुम्ही भेट द्या असते तिथल्या जे काही हेड असतील किंवा जे काही त्यांचे ऑफिस बेअर असतील त्यांच्याशी बोलत असते की असं असं एक मला टॉपिक आहे मी तुमच्याकडे कदाचित क्वेश्चनर घेऊन येणार आहे तुमचे इंटरव्ह्यूज घेणार आहे तुमची माहिती देणार आहे मग ते लोक तुम्हाला ठीक आहे ओके ठीक आहे ओके ठीक आहे काही लोक हो म्हणतील काही लोक नाही म्हणतील 
या स्टडीला म्हणतो आपण पायलट स्टडी तुमचा जो रिसर्च असतो त्याला पायलट स्टडी बेस्ड रिसर्च असतो हे कधी संस्था तुम्ही निवड निवडणार आहात आणि ती जर संस्था तुम्हाला म्हणत असेल नाही आम्ही तुम्हाला माहिती देणार तर तुमचा रिसर्च कम्प्लीट होणार नाही सो फर्स्ट स्टेप आफ्टर गेटिंग अप्रुवल फॉर युअर रिसर्च प्रपोजल फ्रॉम द युनिव्हर्सिटी गो फॉर पायलट स्टडी अँड फाइंड आउट हाऊ मेनी ऑर्गनायझेशन आर इंटरेस्टेड टू शेअर दर डेटा शेअर दर इन्फॉर्मेशन विथ यू नाहीतर असं व्हायचं की तुम्ही तीन वर्ष काम करायचं सगळं दोन वर्षांनी पुन्हा तिकडे जर तुम्ही गेलात आणि ते म्हणले की नाही आम्ही तुम्हाला देणार काय काय संस्था किंवा काय काय ऑर्गनायझेशन काय काय कंपनीज अजिबात डेटा शेअर करत नाही माझ्या एका मित्राचा अनुभव असंच आहे त्यांनी काय बँकांचा अभ्यास करण्यासाठी घेतलं पण त्या बँकांनी परमिशनच दिली नाही मग त्याला सर्टन दोन वर्षानंतर बँकांच्या नावामध्ये बदल करून घ्यायची वेळ आली तर पायलट स्टडी करा ज्यावेळेस तुमचा अप्रूव्ह होऊन येईल त्यावेळेस पायलट स्टडी करा आणि त्याप्रमाणे काम करा जेणेकरून तुम्हाला अडचण येणार नाही रिगार्डिंग डेटा कलेक्शन परमिशन ऑफ डेटा कलेक्शन देर इज नो रोल ऑफ रिसर्च सेंटर you have to write your own letter to those organizations where you want data tumhala ja organization kadun data ghyaycha hai tyasathi tumhi swatah permission ghyaychi research center cha permission dene gene ya sandarbhat kutle communication to research center karat nahi research center cha artha asa hai ki tumhi tithe research conduct karnar ahat tya place pasun tithe fakt tumhala je kai official formalities ahet they are going to help you in those official formalities पण तुमचं जे काही परमिशन घेण्याचं वगैरे काय माहिती तुम्ही स्वतः इंडिव्हिज्युअल करू शकता स्वतः लेटर लिहा ऑर्गनायझेशनला द्या त्यांच्या पण परमिशन घ्या आणि पुढं काम चालू घ्या रिसर्च सेंटर त्याच्यामध्ये किंवा युनिव्हर्सिटी त्याच्यामध्ये काही रोल नसतो हा सर पण व्हॉट आर द ऑफिशियल फॉर्मॅलिटीज द रिसर्च सेंटर हॅज अबाउट टू द स्टुडंट ओके रिसर्च सेंटरच्या काय रोल अँड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आहेत ते सांगतो मी तुम्हाला रिसर्च सेंटर फक्त तुमचा प्रपोजल व्हायवा कंडक्ट करतं त्यानंतर तुमचं जे काही सिलेक्शन आहे ते विद्यापीठाला पाठवतं विद्यापीठ ते अप्रूव्ह करतं त्यानंतर रिसर्च सेंटरला सांगतं की यांचं टॉपिक हॅन्डल करून घ्या सातव सर संजय सर प्लीज मिट यु सर ऑफिस ओके ओके सर ओके थोडासा आवाज येत होता तर रिसर्च सेंटर्स काय टॉपिक अप्रूव्ह करून घेणं आहे त्यानंतर वेळोवेळी तुमचे सहा सहा महिन्याला प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट घेणं असतं तुमचे ते प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट घेतात विद्यापीठाला जमा करतात त्यानंतर तुमचा प्री व्हायवा असेल जे काही ऑफिशियल अँड डॉक्युमेंट डॉक्युमेंट्स असतात ते सबमिशन असतं ते काम रिसर्च सेंटर करतं पण रिसर्च मध्ये हेल्प तुम्हाला रिसर्च सेंटर कडून होणार नाही दिस इज वॉट रिसर्च गाईड इज अलॉटेड तुम्हाला रिसर्च गाईड अलॉट केला जातो ते तुम्हाला वेळोवेळी मार्गदर्शन करतो की असं कर हे नको हे घे ते घे अशी क्वेश्चन डिझाईन कर असा डेटा कलेक्ट कर यांच्याकडून डेटा कलेक्ट कर अकॉर्डिंग टू युअर टॉपिक रिसर्च गाईड विल रिसर्च गाईड विल गाईड यू अँड देन यू हॅव टू वर्क रिसर्च सेंटरचा फक्त जसं कॉलेजमध्ये असतं ना आपण हॉल तिकीट मागायला जातो फॉर्म भरून घेतो तसं त्यांचं काम सर रिसर्च सेंटर विल गिव्ह सम वर्कशॉप लाईक in uh, in uh, specific topic we selected for uh, sometimes they, sometimes they organize sometimes they organize and for that they charge the fees also <laughs> sometimes they organize okay. not every time okay uh, i think uh, yes is there any question for the question then i will address that question otherwise uh, it's 924 uh, so many people they are still in the office and they want to go home Uh, I think there is no question. Uh, if it is there, you can ask me or you can post your question to me. I'll answer those questions. Uh, so today we are meeting for one more. Uh, sorry, tomorrow we are going to meet for one more aspect of research proposal, and uh, there we are going to see. We are going to talk about uh, research methodology. So till then. Bye. Yes.